subscribe to some tips and hit the bell icon and get notification of new videos from some tips hello and welcome to some tips in the tutorial of 880 by microprocessor programming today in this video i will do addition of six two sixteen bit numbers using 880 by microprocessor programming training kit and a gnu simulator so watch this video till the end As I said, I am going to do addition of two 16-bit numbers which are stored in the memory location of microprocessor and I am going to store the result of this addition in the 5005 location. So here you can see in the screen that I am gonna store, I am gonna store first of all two numbers of 3 AC8. This is the first 16-bit numbers 3 AC8 and the second 16-bit number 2A. 6 4 so here you can see that uh, higher bit and lower bit are different and it will be separated so the lower bit of the first number is c8 and its corresponding value is 200 in decimal and the lower bit of the second 16 bit number is 64 which corresponding value of decimal is 100 in the last row i am showing here so here first of all i have to store these two addresses that's mean and uh, two values that's mean 3 and c8 and first of all c8 of the lower bit will be added first and this 200 will be first of all stored in a memory location that's here i'm going to store this 5000 to 5003 so in the 5000 location i'm going to store lower bit of the first number and the 5001 will be the higher bit of the first number correspondingly the lower bit of the second number will be stored in 5002 and that lower bit of that higher bit of the second number will be stored at 5003 and the result will be stored in 5000 5 and 6 correspondingly so in the 5005 will be the lower bit and 5006 will be the higher bit so here it is the noticeable thing that i have to store first of all in the memory corresponding decimal value as the gnu simulator users can input the decimal value inside the memory and it will be automatically converted to the hex code or hexadecimal value so let's put i have already put it this 250 842 these two values I have showed in previous in photo I am stored here so I am just going to the programming code so here it is the programming code first line is L HLD 5000 that's mean the load HL register direct direct means from the memory location 5000 this HL register value will be stored in the HL so here I have showed only to uh, 3 c 8 is the value so after running the first line or compiling the first line 3a will be stored in h and c8 will be stored in l so first 16 bit number will be stored in hl using lhld load hl register direct next line x c a g that means x n so here it will do the value of the HL register will be exchanged with the value of DE. So here by default this DE value is 00. zero. So after this line the zero, 00 will be the HL value and DE register value will be the 3S8. So why this line is needed? Because it cannot access DE register pair directly. Only HL register pair can be accessed by the user directly. So by using the LHL D I am user is giving the input and the exchange will copy this 16 bit data to the DE register pair and here is the same concept that higher bit will be stored in the D and lower bit will be stored in the E. So next line is again LHL D and again for the 5002 the second higher H16 bit number is loaded to the HL register pair now the next line is move ae so what it will do the lower bit of the first number that's mean the c8 will be copied to the accumulator e to a so next line is going to add l so hl the containing now the second number second 16 bit number and l is the lower bit of the second 16 bit number so here the hl and l now contains 64 and the c8 contains in d 
and the E so I am going to copying first of all I have copied this E or the C8 to the accumulator now it will add L so 64 will be added to C8 in the 8 add L line next is the move L to A that's mean the value of the last added added value or the after adding E with the L the value in the accumulator is now going to copy in L so L register pair now contains the addition of lower bit next is the move A, A D so D value or the higher bit value the higher 8 bit value of the 16 bit number of the first number is going to copy to the accumulator next is the ADCH so H contains now higher bit of the 16 bit number of the second 16 bit number so it is going to add it with the accumulator of the value of the D and with the carry so if there is any carry after the operation of lower bit addition will be added so here it is doing what that ATC can going to do A plus H plus C or the carry flag the three operations or three values will be added inside the accumulator using ADC next again I am to using move H A that's mean the final value after with using the ADC or the carry and the higher bit addition it is going to copy to H so now H contains the addition of the higher bit and L contains the addition of the lower bit first number and the second number is not containing now in HL so next I'm going to do is HLD so H store HL direct so in the 5005 location HL value or the addition final result value will be stored as there is the two address will be access 5005 5006 to store the higher bit and the lower bit corresponding HLT to stop the program now I'm going to run this program step by step so here now you can see the HL contain 3SC8 and this is the value 3SC8 and uh, next line this is the D have been now D C S eight and H L becomes zero. So next line two S six four. So two numbers is now there. Two sixteen bit number three S eight and two S six four. Next line, what I am going to do? I am going to add. I am going to move the E value or the lower bit C eight to the accumulator. That's it. A now is C eight. Next is move. Next is add L. So L value that's been sixty four will be added to C eight. So I am going. So the result is now to C and there is the carry. So carry flag is set to one. That means the extra bit is occurred here and it is be set to one. Now the what it will do? The accumulator will store it to the L. So L is now 64. After doing this operation, to C becomes the L or the lower bit. And next, I am going to add H. I am going to move D on the tree edge. Now 3A contains in register A. Now ADC. That means A will be added to the H or 2A. 3A plus 2A plus 1. This will perform. And this is there. It is now 65. And carry flag is not there. So there is no extra bit. So 65 is now the address. So of the higher weight addition with the carry. So I am now going to store the 65 inside there. So 65 to see the final result. Now it contains its HL, not any memory address. Next line is going to store this 65 to see in the memory location and hold to stop the program. So here you can check the 44 and 101. That's this nothing but the 2C and the 65 is stored here as I said as I showed you previously the result so here you can see this is the final reason and it has been done successfully so now I'm going to do this same program using the emulator so here I have written the same program here in the emulator I'm going to assemble it after assembling here it is the code and remember one thing that I am going to start the program from the memory location 8000 and first of all you have to store these four values they are so let go to the microsystem 
emulator and here it is after pressing the F9 emulator occurs and I am going to copy that or put the values here so here you can see I have to store these four values or here so I am going to put the input value of 3AC8 and 2AC64 correspondingly so first let's do this so I have stored these values or the 16 bit numbers inside the memory of this microprocessor now I am going to write the program so I will be writing the same hex code that is showing in the left side of the screen in the microprocessor training kit and start the programming from the 8000 locations <laughs> in the output 5005 location content to C and 5006 location content 65 that's mean the program compilation and run have been successful and the data have been written successfully addition done successfully if you found this video helpful like this video share this video and comment if you have any query regarding this program and do subscribe to some tips because I'll be giving you more 885 microsoft programming videos very soon